you will receive an invitation that looks like this first email in Ben's uh, email here and his Gmail. It will say that you're invited to join my group room. Well, when you see this, that means you're invited to uh, join a place where a lot of photos are collected and you can put photos there and anybody else that's invited can put photos there. So let's see what happens when we go to and accept the invitation. So I'm going to click on the email. I'm going to click display images below and my button says join group room. We can also copy this address or click on it either way. So let's just click on join group room. When we click on join group room, we'll be going to snapfish.com and it tells you welcome to the William Stroud family, which is the name of this particular group. And there's some different things you can do, but let's just click on go to this group room. And this brings up the group room. So you'll see the name of the group room. So this is where different photo albums can be stored and, and anybody that has been invited here can store photos here and so I can see that there is one album and you can click right here where it says more you can do and you can add more photos you can upload photos to your computer you can um, share this album which would send an email to somebody to just see the album without them having to be a part of this group same thing with share just one photo and then of course you could remove an album you can also order prints so, and you can click on Caitlin's graduation, which is a collection of pictures when they call that an album. You can come through here and look at it and there's different ways to view it. You can click it to play automatically by clicking on the pause button and clicking on the play button. And then when you're done, you can close that window. And that's how you are able to come in and uh, be a part of the particular um, group room. So let's say that we'd like to add some more pictures. I'm going to click beside album and choose add photos. Now for me this is my particular snapfish and so I may have another album I'd like to put in there. So I'm going to click on this album and click Add to Room. And now I have an additional album that I can share with everyone. Now this particular album is not one I would share with everyone uh, since it's not related to the family. So I'm going to remove an album. When I choose remove albums, it tells it gives me a choice of which one to choose. So I'm going to click on the album I want to remove and click on remove from room. It says, are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to scroll down and click on remove. And it takes me back to uh, where all my albums are in this particular group room, William Stroud family. If I want to add photos and I don't have uh, photos already set up here. I can always click on upload and I can upload pictures from my computer and I can either add them to an existing album or create a new album whichever I choose. So let's say I want to create a new album I'm going to call this pretend album and I'm going to click select photos and videos and I need to know where my photos are stored for me my photos are stored under libraries and then uh, pictures and then I keep them in a folder called family and here's best family there's a lot of really nice pictures so I'm going to um, select all of them by clicking on the first and holding down control and pressing A which selects all of them or you can just click on a few that you want to select. I'm going to click on open and they're going to download. Once your pictures have uploaded you will have a um, photo album. It says view album and 
you can either just close this window or you could go ahead and view it whichever you prefer I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna hit refresh um, which uh, on Microsoft computers is F5 to refresh the page a lot of times you can go up to the menus at the top and go to view and refresh as well so there's the pretend album I'm actually going so now if I'd like to include this uh, picture album I can just go up to share go to your group rooms and I can click on create group room here I can name my group room I might call this one friends Leslie Williams friends this is a URL site this gives you a link to send people you check check availability and it says it is available and you can create a privacy code if you'd like to I'm not going to do that because I want to make it as easy as possible for people to access it but keep in mind that anybody who came across the site could copy and paste your pictures so I'm going to create a uh, click on create a group room and it says I could invite friends and family add photos add your saved projects you can do that at any time I'm gonna go ahead and click on create go to your group room and there it is friends so now I come down here and you have a choice to either add photos or photo books um, so I'm gonna add an album a photo book would be like something that you have actually printed out and the album is one that you've just put together online so I'm going to click on add album come in here to pretend click on add to room and now if I'd like to pick a new photo I can click pick a new photo and maybe I'll drag this uh, picture of my mom or click on this picture of my mom and it pops over again I'm not going to put anything for room code I'm going to go all the way down and click on update info and there's both my this is my group room up here and this is one of the albums that will be in my group room again I can add more albums by clicking add photos and I can come in here and click on any photo that's in here any album that's in here and click add to room and it will be added to my room so there's now two albums now if I want to send this to somebody again I can click on invite new members right here and you just enter in their email address Ben's is already in here so it pops up for me but if I had to type it it's benyovo at gmail.com and you separate with the comma or a line break means you'd hit enter which it's not letting me do so it just hit a comma and then maybe I'd send it to uh, my mom it picks up her email uh, you can also go to address books and download um, addresses from there as well I haven't played with that a whole lot but then I just click on send invite and they would see the invitation that I just showed you now one thing that you will have to do when you are initially invited into Snapfish is you're going to have to create an account so that means you're going to have to enter in an email address and a password so make sure that you write that down somewhere or use one that you always can remember uh, for any time you have to log in and if you have any questions just let me know 388 or 919-388-0664 I hope everybody's doing well bye